this is propaganda, but when you see a beyond that, it's double f***ing scummy. Hi, it's me again, and weirdly, I've got something about the BBC I thought we could talk about today. So let, let's, uh, let's enjoy this moment of calm before I know full well I'm going to be fuming very shortly. BBC branded a disgrace. Uh, let's just stop there. Yeah, just just stop that. That's the end of the video. <laughs> That's everything that needs to be said in this video, isn't it? BBC branded a disgrace. Done. Cut. Cut. We're done. <laughs> BBC branded a disgrace after man with cancer taken to court for not paying TV license. It's not the first time this has happened, is it? This happens regularly. There's been people who have had acute mental health issues. Many people, sadly, with cancer being taken to court because... They were in hospital, wherever, when it expired, they forgot all about it because they got more pressing bloody concerns at the moment, BBC. But they still get taken to court for it because of this single justice procedure nonsense. Normally, this ends up in a local paper, this sort of thing. This has made it to a major news publication. The controversy erupted after a social media post highlighted the distressing situation, sparking widespread condemnation and calling into question the fairness of the single justice procedure. Well, it's not fair at all, is it? You don't even get your day in court necessarily anymore with that single justice procedure. It's just read out and you're charged. Done. You can't write a letter in your defence. They won't get read out. Anything like that. For more information and more legal advice like this, don't follow me. Go and speak to Daniel over it. Um, black belt barrister because he's talked about this a lot and i'm not going to embarrass myself trying to speak legal stuff when he can just do it better than me according to the post on x the man who was hospitalized for surgery at the royal shrewsbury hospital I don't know why we needed to know that experienced a failed direct debit payment while he was incapacitated because he had more pressing concerns because he was hospitalized for cancer surgery at the hospital and i'm sure he didn't really care too much about worrying about paying for his TV license fee. And you think any normal company in the world would appreciate that. Give the poor bastard a break. Not TV licensing, they don't. This unfortunately led to his conviction where he was ordered to pay £120 to cover the cost of his prosecution and still had to buy a TV license. So it's not so much the money. 120 quid isn't all the money. It's a lot of money, especially if you're in this situation. It's unnecessary. But if you weren't in whatever, right, 120 quid isn't the end of the world financially. But you still had to buy the TV license afterwards as well. So now you're at basically 300 quid. And again, it's not about the money. None of it's about the money here. It's about the stress and the aggravation of this. Many people, when they see court proceedings following you're being taken to court, a letter and all that, that's really stressful for many people who are always above the law. I don't know this gentleman. Maybe he's a bank robber or something. I don't know. But let's say he's never been in trouble with the law before. He's going through all this. He's just had surgery for a cancer treatment, which means he's probably going through chemo afterwards like my dad did when he had his surgery. You really want to be worrying about court proceedings while all of that's happening, do you? How is this allowed to happen? A handwritten message penned by the man with cancer accompanied the tweet and read, I didn't realise that my TV licence had been cancelled due to my bank not paying a direct debit when I was in hospital having surgery on the 7th of December. This was the second operation for cancer in 12 months. Poor bastard. I hope, I hope you're on the mend now, mate. Uh, the case has drawn significant attention to the single justice procedure, a legal process that allows magistrates to deal with minor offences without the defendant being present in court. How, how is that fair justice for all? In what way is that fair? You can't defend yourself at all because of the single justice procedure. They're just going to rubber stamp it. The judge doesn't care. The judge is just being read out that this man didn't pay his TV licence, and ignored us. He's been taken to court. Thinking of this, I cancelled my direct debit many years ago, over 10 now, and I wasn't taken to court. So how did this come about? 
you're not just going to stop paying your direct debit, can- thus cancelling your TV licence fee, and then immediately end up in court. There's only one way this could have happened, and that's if he spoke to them. So this must have, must have resulted from one of the goons knocking on the door. So that adds another element to this. This scummy, horrible company added another element to this. They must have come round, knocked on the door while this poorly man was at home. He's answered it, and they said, your direct debit's been cancelled, you've not got a TV licence. Are you watching telly in there? And this poor bastard has gone, yeah, bang, you're going to court. Not, no sympathy, no selling you a licence on the doorstep, which they probably did anyway, but then they probably got double commission for taking him to court. A lot of this article I've just changed my mind on. This seems like TV licence propaganda now. That's what this seems like to me. You cancel your direct debit, you are going to court. No, it won't work like that you have to have spoken to one of the goons there is no other way you get taken to court so this is propaganda but when you see a beyond that it's double fucking scummy that's what this is and speaking of double scummy i hope that gets on the mend if um if that's you sir I, it doesn't say your name on here and i'm glad about that anyway Send me an email or something. You'll find my email address on the air, on my name on here. Go into my account. But speaking of double scumming, Siren Sester Man sentenced for not having a TV license. Another one in the local papers. I hate this. This is one of my most hated things ever. You're a local paper. You're supposed to be on the side of your local community not naming and shaming them for shitty minor offences. I really hope that this gentleman, whose name and address is fully printed here in this article, which I won't be showing, obviously, I really hope that he is a very successful local businessman who spends a lot of money on advertising and will now say the Wiltshire and Gloucestershire Standard can do one. They don't get a any of my money ever again i really hope that's the case so this gentleman with his full address used a television receiver without a license on or around february 26th this year the case was heard in north somerset magistrates court in western on friday august the 16th the gentleman pleaded guilty to the offense and was fined 146 pounds and 60 pound costs and a 58 pound surcharge a total of 264 pounds now, a couple of things to unpack here. First one I want to do is, I've got loads of letters, right? You know I love opening the letters on here. They give me endless hours of entertainment. One of the things they always say in the letters is, we can fine you a £1,000. How many articles have I read out on this channel now where the fine's between 120 and 150 quid? All of them. That's how many. This £1,000 fine is never given out. It's an empty threat. Now, the gentleman pleaded guilty to the offence, so he must have had his day in court or he pleaded guilty by post. So he used a television receiver without a licence. Now, behind you, you can't see, but I'm in my flat, in my living room. There's a telly there. And that's technically a television receiver because it can receive television. I watch a lot of television. I just don't watch it as it's been broadcast or access BBC iPlayer. So what kind of charge is that? Using a television receiver without a license. I do that on a daily basis. Last night, I watched two Deadpool films on that thing. I didn't watch them as they were being broadcast. I watched them from a streaming service. Am I, am I going to be in court next week? No. How all this happened, if this gentleman... Now, I'm not... If he did watch broadcast television without a license, I don't condone that. You know I don't. You want to use the service, pay for the service. But the only way he got in trouble for this is when one of the goons knocked on the door and he talked to them. If he'd have just gone, no thanks, mate, and shut the door in this goon's face, this couldn't happen. If we can get that message out there more, remember, I don't condone watching broadcast TV or accessing BBC iPlayer to watch BBC stuff without a television license. I never condone that. You know I don't. But if we can get the message out to people to never talk 
to these goons when they knock on your door. This can't happen. Now, this goon could have sold him a television license on his doorstep. Probably did, to be fair, because it doesn't say here he had to buy a license. Well, so he probably did. So the goon got his 25 quid odd, we believe, commission for selling a license on the doorstep. And he still got another commission for taking this gentleman to court. Double your money for the goon. That goon should have gone away with nothing but a door closed in his face. It's wrong, isn't it? It's wrong. I hate hearing about these stories. I hate, especially in the local papers. And I especially hate when someone's got more important pressing concerns going on, like life-saving surgery, he still gets taken to court. So he gets still gets the stress of having to go to court, probably while he's on chemo and stuff. Is that what you want? Is that the kind of stress this gentleman should have been going through? I don't know the whole story. I can only talk about what I see here. But from what I see here, it's fucking shit. Swore up. I'm trying to cut down the swearing in the videos. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Why are you down there leaving your comment? Hit all the buttons and everything as well. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you think you are subscribed, just double check it because some people have been getting unsubscribed. And if you do all of that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.